So I have a question for everyone this week. So I'm going to start off showing six stars just in case synergies are in consideration for this decision. But I need to decide who I'm going to rank for in five-star version next. So I'm also going to show you my top five stars. So everyone up to and including Dormammu is already a rank four. Let's take a look over what I already have. And I need the input of not only you, but all of your game playing friends. I kind of have an idea of where I'm going with this, but let's each of us compile in the comments section a list of your top three going from first as most desirable to third as third most desirable. So when I'm looking through this list personally, ones I'm considering are Sabretooth, just because when he's with the Killmonger Synergy. He has the ability to completely negate masochism. Like as is. I th think he's... 660. We'll check that out. His regen is nothing special. So it's... That's not really a factor. But that defeating masochism is a pretty big selling point. Plus, he also works in conjunction with Omega Red and some other powerful mutants. My second consideration, and I'll be throwing some more Six Stones into him this week, is OG Vision. So, his benefit to me is he works directly with Captain America Infinity War in Synergy. And also, he's dual immunity, so that's the big thing. Another consideration is magic. So I believe she is also, yes, 660. Because she may become more beneficial if anyone is stuck on the Hyperion line in the new Alliance quests. Okay. Next ones. Taskmaster, maybe later on if I duplicate him. Um, stuff like Modok doesn't really matter to me. I need more attackers because we already have people like him on defense. I haven't used She-Hulk too much, but she might be a consideration for a rank 4. Ever since her rebuff, she's legitimately pretty good. Plus, if we look at her signature ability, huge benefits against each of the other classes and including. Uh, Winter Soldier's handy, but I don't have a powerful enough Killmonger to run his best synergies. And I really am trying to avoid ranking up any other four stars. And I think I have Killmonger at rank 3. Um, I don't think I'd rank 4 Crossbones or Red Skull. They are cool. But I don't think they quite make the grade. Dr. Voodoo I would definitely consider had I had him duplicated. Because unduplicated he's not that special. It's hard to apply any of his poisons and stuff without it. Dr. Octopus, I hear good things, but I just never really got into him. Bishop, he's super powerful against energy guys, but I just... Kind of a one-trick pony to me. Rogue is great and all, but I can't see ranking her to four. Venom is a consideration. Apparently, he just smokes the Yellow Jacket variant. So, he's up there on my list. Um, Star-Lord, if he was ever duped. But as for the rest, unless Colossus is the next rebuff and he's massively awesome, not a chance. I guess the good and the bad with a Venom to rank 4 is then I would have 
the most elite and powerful um, cosmics all there pretty much with Corvus, Medusa, Hyperion I mean there's a couple others that are great too but they all kind of fall in the same category as Venom which is just below the ultimate champs so yeah like I said if I could get absolutely everyone's opinion on their top three, that would be so helpful. And even though there's some not quite as desirable champions that I have, I do believe I'm going to try to hold on to all my five-star crystals until Ebony comes out. So in that period of time, I can probably fire out two to three rank fours. Um... I guess if I ever did Act 5 and finished it, then there'd be consideration for uh, Rank 5, but I'm not getting ahead of myself. But I guess, yeah, no, I'll probably wait for Call Obsidian when he hits the 5-star Hero Crystal. So, But I'll probably be able to still do 2-3 to three Rank 4s by then. So, Thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure you leave that comment below for suggestions. I take them all seriously, unless you're absolutely trolling. And uh, have a great day.